hey aquarius welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well today this is going to be for aquarius sun moon rising venus north node please remember to flip and switch the roles could be talking about someone else in your energy also remember to jake uh to just take what resonates and leave it does not fit okay so let's see what do we have for aquarius spirit messages for aquas what's going on for aquarius so bottom of the deck okay child services hmm, girl fight somebody wants to fight you aquarius <laughs> somebody wants to fight okay anger management oh somebody's mad and scared Ooh. <laughs> like bitch who cares anywho we have forcer forces things on you forces their way in uses force to get what they want i hate that i bent my card up like that but whatever so somebody here could be a tad bit abusive it does say that this person has anger issues they could be taking this out on their kids okay somebody here wants to fight somebody though it could be like two feminines wanting to fight or something like that like okay what's going on for aquarius man here we go aquarius with the bull crap Cannot. Why does somebody want to fight? Seriously? What else? Three more, please. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is red lipstick stains. Okay, so somebody here gets around or something like that. Somebody here could have got caught cheating or, yeah, a groupie. Somebody's a groupie here okay <laughs> bottom of the deck or behind the deck it says into you good chemistry great vibes positive yeah <laughs> somebody's in love with you that's why they're mad okay so let's put the story together so we have broke ass <laughs> so whoever this is is broke they need to be focused on getting a job and not focused on trying to fight it says photo proof getting evidence y'all's readings always crack me up yeah fed up somebody's fed up with the bullshit then we have head in the clouds Okay, I feel like somebody here is thinking about you. Somebody is definitely thinking about you. So let's see what's going on, Aquarius. <laughs> Very interesting start to the read. <laughs> okay. Hmm. People are so funny. Let's see. Why is Forcer here for Aquarius? <laughs> Why is Forcer here? What is going on with this energy? Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands. Wow. Queen of Wands to the King of Wands with the Strength card. This is why they're mad. Uh -huh. They're mad because you guys have, a, you and your person have a strong bond. This could be your twin. This could be your divine counterpart with the Strength card. I feel like both of you guys uplift each other. You're both very passionate towards each other. You're both hot as fuck. <laughs> both of y'all are hot as hell the sex is good as hell like then this here's this bitch looking for attention okay some of you guys this queen of swords could be you as well whoever the feminine is you speak your truth you could be seen in the public eye you could get a lot of attention here just for being that bitch like you're raw you're uncut you you know you get straight to the point like you have a really nice personality as well though like so wow okay so crazy start to the read Let's see, what is um Forcer for Aquarius? What is Forcer? Okay, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so somebody here is forcing themselves on you. Maybe they're trying to, they're just, they're just very possessive, very controlling, very manipulative is what I'm hearing too as well. I feel like you're holding back from this person. Okay, I feel like you feel that you need to hide your money as well. This person could be trying to use you for your money. It does say broke ass. <laughs> 4 11 on the clock. I keep seeing those numbers. You guys could be seeing that too. Okay, so uh, four of pentacles, yeah. I feel like you feel the need to hide your money or just like um, really keep yourself under control because this, this is the type of person that could really send your ass to jail if you make one wrong move. That's how petty they are. They want you to get out of character, whoever this is. <laughs> you know, but uh, two of wands. What's Forza with the four of pentacles? This person can be very greedy, very selfish. Okay, yeah, temperance in reverse. This person is imbalanced. I feel like they're really antagonistic. They're antagonizing you. Literally, the temperance in reverse could be a Sagittarius. 
that you're dealing with or you have Sagittarius in your chart. I feel like this person is really trying to knock you off balance. They're trying to keep you in, in reverse here. I feel like this temperance as well talks about, yeah, this person is like being antagonistic. They're, they're very, uh, they could be overindulging in certain things. They could have addictions here. I just feel like this person is very superficial. Yeah, you're walking away. Something is over with the 10, the 10 of wands and the eight of cups. You're walking away from whoever this burden is. I feel like somebody is a goddamn burden. Just period. Let's force it with the temperance in reverse and the four of pentacles. So I feel like spirit is telling you to kind of like do things in moderation. I feel like you're rushing trying to get out of this person's presence. They like probably are vandalizing your shit. What's four sir, with the temperance in reverse, four of pentacles. Yeah, seven of wands in reverse. Seven of wands in reverse. This person, whoever this is, is forcer energy. They want you kind of like fold on what you're trying to do. They want you to fold on your beliefs or fold on or change your mind. They're thinking that, oh, if they run behind you and chase after you like a little puppy, that you're going to be like, okay, you pet the puppy and, and take them back. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, no. Get your stupid ass on. Ain't no petting nothing. It's just go on about your business. I feel like somebody is very like, I feel like you lost respect for somebody. Okay. You lost respect for their ass, just period. You don't respect them anymore. You don't fuck with them anymore. They don't have any morals, okay? They they did they, they just I don't know. They're just of very low integrity, if any. They probably don't even have any. Okay, so I don't know. I just feel like I just feel like you're surrendering, okay, to a lot of things. You're just letting the tower fall where it's gonna fall. I feel like you're being the bigger person here too. You're like, okay, you got it. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Just to kind of like, come, like, you know, um, give into their ass. Make them feel like they're the bigger person. Because I feel like this is the type of person this is. They're immature. They're very childish. They're trying to offer you something. You could be walking away from it. You don't want this little ass offer from this person. If they could be trying to give you something or make up for something and like, no. They lost the power that they had over you. They don't have this power over you anymore. What's this four of pentacles? People are pathetic. What's this four of pentacles? Yeah, the death card. Bitch, it's over. <laughs> Scorpio energy. Definitely go watch Scorpio energy. It was definitely, um, sounds similar. I mean, Scorpio's reading, my bad. <laughs> um, the death card, yeah, it, it cups at the bottom of the deck. You're walking away. It's over. I feel like you're walking away to heal. You need to, like, I, I feel like you just can't even think straight dealing with this person. Okay, like something is just over. You're transforming, you're purifying your energy, you're cleansing your energy and your auric field. Like you're getting rid of all the fucking, anything that has, is dark. I feel like you're walking away. It's over. What's this temperance in reverse? For Aquarius? Yeah, nine of wands. Yeah, you've given up. It's like, it's, it's over with. It's done. You let this person have it because you see that they're not protected anyway. They don't have shit going for themselves. Nothing. So I feel like you're just you're just letting it go. Yeah, this person you're seeing that that they're failing to compromise with you. They can't work with you. That's just it's just never going to be. This person is never going to get their act together. Just period. For a lot of you, you know, I, I'm gonna keep going, but. This is you. I feel like this is you more so removing yourself from this person. But let's let's just keep going. What's the seven of wands in reverse? Because I was going to say. This person could be causing you so much trouble that it's just like, okay, fuck it. Like, I'm going to just sit here and take it. But you better not be doing this shit, Aquarius. I'm not playing with you guys. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm not playing. I feel like somebody's very stubborn. They just, they're causing a stalemate in your life. What is this? Uh, I feel like you're very tired. You could be very uh, fatigued here chronically. This person, they could be, um, somebody's health could be fucked up too. They could be feeling very weak. Okay. They could be feeling very weak. All right. The nine of wands in reverse is, um, weakness, fatigue, like feeling extra tired. Okay. It could usually mean like opening up and shit like that or, but I feel like somebody just doesn't have no more fight left. I don't know if that's you or them, but let's see. What's the seven of wands in reverse? Somebody just, just didn't learn their lesson. Like, they just keep doing the same shit. What's the seven of wands in reverse? Yeah, five of swords. 
This is just so messy. You're the magician. Yeah, I feel like you're moving forward. You're manifesting something new for yourself. This person could be passing away. I mean, that's not cool. But whatever they did is backfiring. What's this um, temperance in reverse? Yeah, nine of swords in reverse. Yeah, ten of swords. Somebody is somebody is really fucked up. Whoever this is, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're still up to the same shit. It's like they they're not learning from anything. They could be on their deathbed. They're still gonna try to sabotage your ass. Literally is what is what is showing me. What's the seven of wands in reverse with this five of swords? Somebody's being very manipulative and very like trying to bully you or assault you. What's the seven of wands in reverse with the five of swords? Bitch, yeah, the chariot. Yeah, this could be the police here. The police is being called. I feel like you're moving forward. Yeah, you're going towards something new. You don't give a fuck. This person could be doing whatever the fuck they're doing. You're like, okay, cool. I feel like this this five of swords and the chariot could be you defending yourself. Definitely defending yourself. This person could be a bit violent. You're seeing that they have a mental disorder. That's what you're seeing. <laughs> like dead ass. That's, that's exactly what you're seeing. You're realizing that about this person. Yeah, they ass could be going to jail here. But the chariot, you could be dealing with the cancer. Scorpio Sag is here already. Yeah, I feel like you're moving forward. You're pushing through whatever this is. You're not letting this person get you down. So this is they ass. Like I said, you lost respect for them. They ass could be falling weak. I feel like they're being haunted here. Shit is backfiring and they're still not learning. Nine of Wands in Reverse is literally not learning from the past. Just period. So they should just give up, give in. I feel like this person could possibly be surrendering here because they ass spirit is, is, is making it that way. They ain't got no choice but to surrender and let you move on. What's broke ass <laughs> for Aquarius? Child the world. Yeah. If this is you that's broke Aquarius, that's it's gonna be an input to that. Some of you guys could be closing cycles out with people that kept using you for your money or keep or kept uh asking you for shit and they never gave anything back to you because they were they were malicious. That's what was the plan. That's that's the plan. Just period. Just to keep asking you for shit and you be broke and stuck and miserable. Yeah, it's, it's over with. I feel like you realize that you missed so many opportunities for cups staying in some type of illusion dealing with these idiots or whoever the fuck this forcer person is. So the world is uh, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Okay, you could be dealing with any one of those signs, but a cycle is closing out. You successfully closed a cycle out. So now you're being rewarded for your hard work, your dedication to kind of like um, really pushing for yourself, wanting better, better for yourself. <laughs> Okay, you got tired of this shit. What is broke ass with the world? Yeah, Ten of Cups and the Three of Wands. Yeah, so y'all are going right in towards your happiness here. You're going towards anything that's going to make you happy at this point. For some of you, you could be starting a family with someone. I feel like I feel like you're just getting out of the situation is is emotionally fulfilling. Like I just feel like you feel set free. Some of you guys could be um definitely third party situation, Three of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Yeah, you you have a lot of options to you here coming in, coming in towards you for maybe new money. But I feel like you're going towards growth, growth expansion. Okay, um, definitely letting the past go and moving forward. Some of you guys could have travel plans. You could be moving here with the Three of Wands. Yeah, some of y'all could be leaving your own family behind. These could be your own family members doing this shit to you. Just period. And you're moving forward. You're not looking back either. Yeah. Hmm. So what's photo proof getting evidence for Aquarius? <laughs> yeah. Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups. Wow. King of Cups. <laughs> so yeah, you and your person. There is so much emotional. There, there's a really strong emotional connection along with sexual connection. Then we see the Queen of Wands with the King of Wands in the beginning. You, you're you in love with somebody here, Aquarius. You are in love with somebody. Somebody's in love with you. There's love here. There's a new beginning between you and your counterpart. There's a new cycle starting here with the Ace of Cups. Both of you guys are very devoted to each other. Okay. Very caring towards each other. Very compassionate and empathetic. Both of you guys could be very psychic as well. Very intuitive. All right. Yeah, this is a beautiful connection with you and this person that's coming in. Yep. 
So photo proof, getting evidence. So yeah, somebody sees that you're in love with someone else. So whoever this is back here can go fucking kick rocks somewhere. <laughs> like, bitch, your time is over, is is done with. Yeah, they're being ignored. For some of you, yeah, you're you're going to be with somebody that you truly do love. This could be somebody here that that you work with um financially you could have gotten into a relationship with somebody where it was just transactional it wasn't no love there you just needed stability or they they used you you used them type of thing or whatever but i feel like on your end it could be you really put in more time and effort and work into pro probably building something with this person but they were just using you all along if you get what i'm saying so yeah that, that little hope and that dream or whatever the fuck they thought they were getting the bitch is over with the tower i feel like they're trying to come in and offer you an apology or offer you something and you're saying no you're turning your back on it. You're waiting for a new opportunity. You don't want to fuck with this person. So you're going towards your union with your divine counterpart. Your match here. Somebody matches somebody that matches you and loves you equally. And will, will give you the world if you ask for it. Like you're, you're tired of dealing with uh, motherfuckers that are not giving to you equally. People don't know how to like people don't know shit about love or relationships. And they don't want to know either. They just want to keep doing this malicious bullshit. This is why they ask is getting karma. So this is a beautiful new connection coming in Aquarius. It's very emotional, probably very intense, but let your emotions flow. Don't hold back. Okay, because they love you just like you love them. Just period. So what's fed up? <laughs> this person got a whiff that you're you're fucking you're ready to go towards a new relationship and they they get mad. Like, bitch. Okay, what is fed up? For Aquarius. Yeah, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Didn't I just say something about inequality? In imbalanced bullshit. Yeah, you're tired of giving to this person. You could have been giving to them financially and they weren't giving you shit. Okay, I feel like they were just using you, abusing you, taking you for granted. And you're tired of their ass. Yeah, King of Wands, Queen of Wands is still here with the strength card. Yeah. Seven of Swords, the hangman, the devil. The Empress, the Emperor. I can't make this shit up. This is a strong connection with you and this person. Literally. You and your you and your twin. Yeah. But the Six of Pentacles in reverse is um, I feel like, you know, if this has been you without employment or no money or whatever the fuck. I feel like you just got fed up with this shit. Because I feel like you were giving your last to this hoe over here. This this weird ass hoe that you were fucking with or family member or whatever the fuck. You were giving your last to this person. They weren't appreciating it because that's what the plan was, like I said. They were just using you here. They could have been scamming you and some more shit. This person, they're just disloyal. They don't know shit about loyalty, integrity, nothing. They only think about themselves. For some of you, you're on child support or you were paying child support here. They, they, this is the type of person that wouldn't let you see your child even if you were on child support. They're still not going to let you see your child. They're very greedy. Okay, this person could be coming back to try to kiss up and make up and shit. Bitch, it's over. This is somebody that undervalued you. It was always strings attached with something. What is this fed up with the Six of Pentacles in reverse? I feel like this person is broke anyway. Yeah, King of Swords. Yeah, didn't I just say something about some? Some of you guys could be dealing with the authorities right now, dealing with this person. But this is you, uh, Aquarius, setting boundaries. You got your sword up. You're not playing with this person. You cut them off or you stop giving them shit here. And okay, <clears throat> they could have been giving to somebody else too. They were taking your shit to give to someone else. And I feel like you set boundaries. You really spoke your truth and you said what the fuck you had to say and you meant it. No matter how many times you said it, you mean what you're saying now. That's all that matters. So yeah, now they sad and, 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 and struggling financially. Keep trying to hold up a a, 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 a different persona or hold up some type of look here or keep up some type of look trying to keep up with the joneses bitch save your money because it looks like your ass finna really be a broke ass <laughs> you really finna be broke and left out in the cold yeah and that's exactly what you deserve for trying to take advantage of people and use people like you don't do no weird ass shit like that just period what else is fed up what else for fed up the king of swords and the six of pentacles in reverse Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you have a blessing coming in, Aquarius. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, for some of you, this is your 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 Empress, the Divine Feminine, uh, the Empress with the uh, Knight of Cups. Somebody that's very wise or very smart. Okay, this could be a bit of a loner here. <clears throat> All right, but you're over it. Just period. So there, there's a new opportunity coming in. And of course, here they come. 
what's the six of pentacles in reverse for some of you you're getting a new home a new car a new place but this is some type of financial blessing that's coming in i feel like you cut people the fuck off you cut off people that had access to your money or whatever the fuck or have access to you what's this um some of you guys are getting paid from a court situation what's this six of pentacles in reverse <clears throat> yeah king of pentacles <laughs> yeah so you can be back stable again literally is what this is you you're, you're trying to get your stability together you can't keep giving to a bunch of fucking losers bums that don't want to do that you know don't want to do the work don't want to work don't want to do anything but rely on you for shit no you could have been the sole provider for this family or this household or whatever the fuck bitch it's time for you to get a goddamn job <laughs> it's time for you to stop mooching off of me and do something else with your goddamn time and your energy yeah, I feel like you're getting things back in balance here, Aquarius. Yeah, moving to calmer waters, going right in towards your happiness, listening to your intuition. Okay, King of Pentacles is you becoming stable. And these people, of course, they need you. Of course, they want to kiss up to you and kiss your ass because you're about to get this money and you're about to be stable and secure. Yeah. So, okay, what's this King of Swords? Yeah, Ace of Swords, what I just said was telling the truth. For some of you, you are getting a victory in court. This is success. Also receiving mental clarity. Okay, a breakthrough. I feel like a breakthrough is coming in with, within your finances. <clears throat> Definitely a breakthrough. This is a new beginning. Some of you guys have really, really good ideas, Aquarius. You're very innovative, very creative. You can like invent shit that nobody would ever even fucking think of. And these people know that. They know that you're meant for greatness. So, of course, they're going to be right on your back. What a bunch of losers. What's this Ace of Pentacles? So, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords is here, Ace of Cups. So, three Aces. Definitely new beginnings. A bunch of them. Yes, yeah, Seven of Cups. Yeah, you got options. Okay, different op options are going to be available to you here. Okay, make sure, I guess, you choose the right one. Listen to your intuition. Okay, this is something that's coming in that you could be dreaming about, fantasizing about. Like, you just, I just feel like you really want to get your shit together. You're tired of dealing with these broke ass people because you're not a broke ass motherfucker. You really be having your shit together, but I feel like people were leeching off of you or using you. Maybe you were people pleasing or something like that. And I just feel like you're over it. What's this Ace of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups? I feel like the people that you had in your life really confused you or try to manipulate you. Like, what's this Ace of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups? Yeah, six of wands in reverse. What'd I say? Like a people, a bunch of people that just want your attention. They're groupies, they're fans. Okay, they'll do anything to get attention from you and ruin different opportunities. I feel like you have a golden opportunity right here. But people that are in the background, it could be mobs of people that watch you, they gang stalk you here. I'm getting gang stalking. Yeah, six of wands in reverse is definitely failing. Definitely not getting getting something here. They ass is not getting it, but you are. Whoever the fuck these people are or this person, if it's just one person. I feel like somebody, I feel like you're finding out somebody is just a fan. They're just a groupie. That's all they are. Yeah, you could have, somebody here could have been just following a bunch of people. I don't know. I feel like a lot of these people here are arrogant. They're very egotistical here and they're fame hungry. That's all they are. That's all they like. They're, they're whatever this is, is unsuccessful. They're confused about how this shit didn't work out and you're still getting this opportunity. Just period. So what is head in the clouds for Aquarius? What's head in the clouds? Okay, the hyphen in reverse. Taurus energy. For some of you, you're getting a divorce here. You're divorcing somebody that, I don't know, you put on a high pedestal before, you looked up to them in some type of way, but they ass is like, they're a bunch of, they're, they're losers, whoever the fuck these people are. For others of you, this is you. Um, <clears throat> some of you guys could be holding on to different belief systems or, or negative thoughts about love and relationships, commitment. Some of you guys could be scared of commitment or somebody else could be. I feel like also you're doing something that's going against traditions, okay? Something that looks like unfamiliar or it looks um, very different, okay? There could be people judging you behind what your decision is, and okay? And, and, and all you could do is think about this person here. This person's face that's in the clouds. This is all you see, all you care about. So I feel like you're doing something that's not normal. I mean, if this is a twin flame connection, it's not normal. 
people are going to judge you for it and just be prepared. What's the head in the clouds with the high in reverse? Like, yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, there you go. I feel like somebody's moving slow. Somebody's very practical minded. Okay, very strategic too with their moves, very methodical. But the Knight of Pentacles is um, finishing what you started. Okay, your hard work is definitely going to pay off here. I feel like somebody wants to take things slow with you because I feel like whoever this is, if this is your person, they're scared of commitment because I guess if they were dealing with somebody like this from their past that was using them and shit like that, they don't want to be used again. So it's going to take a level of understanding on your end or, or whoever's end. Just flip the roles. Yeah, Page of Cups to start. I see you, Aquarius. What is this head in the clouds? So this is an offer coming in of stability, wanting to build back trust or um just build this person could be younger than you what else okay the hermit yeah so somebody is, is soul searching here with the hermit energy if you and this person are not talking yeah i feel like somebody's reflecting on this this betrayal here whatever they've been through yeah yeah they love you though this person's in love with you with the two of cups the magician the three of pentacles yeah they want to reconcile with you this is what they're going to choose everybody has free will so for some of you they might change their mind, God forbid, okay, for people that want their person, but I'm saying that's just how free will works, okay, I mean, people, you know, when you feel like they're coming, they don't come because they get scared or that, it could be a back and forth for that, you know what I'm saying, but I feel like with the hermit, somebody is definitely in solitude doing some soul searching and trying to figure out what the fuck it is that they want and what they don't want and really trying to heal, somebody's going through a spiritual awakening here with the hermit, what's the hierophant in reverse, <clears throat> It's, it's like some old belief patterns here that this person, yeah, this is what the delay is. Okay, eight of wands in reverse. You and this person do have unfinished business, <clears throat> but I feel like um, this person is kind of like being haunted, quote unquote, by the negativity that they've been raised upon or that they've seen when it comes down to relationships. I feel like somebody has like a history of dealing with bum ass bitches, people that can't take care of themselves or you know what i'm saying like people that really don't got shit going for themselves so i mean they don't have anything to do with you so you know just let this person do what they're gonna do but you know because you don't want them to project that onto you that's gonna fuck your relationship up eight of wands in reverse is um delay slow progress yes yeah, so somebody is slowly coming along what's the knight of pentacles Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, see? Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups, King of Cups, yeah. So, this uh, person, yeah, they're trying to regain their confidence to come back towards you, to offer you something stable and secure. They want to build with you here, but you do match this person's energy. This is somebody on your vibration. Somebody that, that uh, you guys share the same values and wants and things like that. So, what's the hermit? Yeah, Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody is coming out of their head in reverse. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. So this is this person. Yeah, look at your ass. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands. Yeah, this is you and your person coming together and building. I just feel like somebody needs a break. They're trying to break out of the um, negative ways of thinking or patterns here. And after that, it's really a beautiful couple coming together. That's what it looks like to me. Where there's loyalty, trust, dedication, willing to sit down and talk about issues here. Okay. Because no relationship is going to be perfect at all. But. Yeah. So. What else for Aquarius? Let's clarify the spread, please. Very nice reading, Aquarius. So we have having receipts. Someone has been keeping tabs, taking notes on you, and keeping all your details. And then we have witchcraft. Someone could be using magic to get their way. So, like I said, whatever this, if this person is passing away, if they did death spells on you, or if they did any type of goddamn spell work, like, continuously, for years or months, that shit is backfiring. This is why this person is not being protected right now with the temperance in reverse. This person is very, like, I don't know, they're, they're kind of, like, on their deathbed, or something is backfiring on them just period then we have woke yeah being aware knowing what's going on in the, in the community and humanity so your person has awakened they have receipts they found something about this person doing spell work or vice versa you found out or somebody did 
but somebody has receipts on somebody doing some spell work here. Yeah, they got evidence. Yeah, wow. What else? For Aquarius. Digging for gold, marrying for money, not love, wanting to spend all of their partner's cash, gets into relationships for material things. <laughs> somebody's just a loser always partying playing games <clears throat> so it's this person always partying they ain't got nothing else going on with their life hooked addicted to someone or something so this person they could have been doing spell work to keep your person stuck to them type of thing like hooked on them or never wanting somebody else or never wanting to go and do something else with their life and their time They wanted your person to stay stuck. That's exactly what was going on. Acting a fool. Someone who knows they are being childish and goofy, but doesn't care when the when the situation calls for maturity. So somebody's acting a goddamn fool, clearly. Then we have eighth house. This situation involves cycles, death, and rebirth. Someone's attitude towards change and personal growth. Then we have jealous. Wants the one you're with. So somebody here, there's friends, or, or maybe it's this bitch. This bitch is jealous that... uh. <laughs> I don't know. It's very if this is a woman here and you're a woman Aquarius or, or your person was a woman or whatever the fuck, they want your person. Somebody here wants your person. They don't want you to have them. They want them for themselves. This could have been friends or whatever. Okay. Yeah, we have a hater. Wants to knock you down to size. A person that simply cannot be happy for your success. Points out your flaws to make them feel better. So I feel like you've had a hater in your midst for a very long time, Aquarius. Too too goddamn long, really. It's going to be flips. Flip the roles. Then we have slacker. Someone who avoids doing work, prioritizes doing nothing, takes shortcuts on the job. Yeah, somebody here just, you can't work with somebody. I feel like you realize that. If you if this was like a family business or you thought that you would fall in love and be with somebody, this ex or whoever the fuck this is, or it could be family or whatever, you were doing most of the work. This person doesn't give a fuck. They just want you to work and make the money and they want to take your money and like hold that shit against you <laughs> and go do whatever the fuck they want to do with it. What else for Aquarius? What a weirdo. Said one-sided love. Yeah, something here is definitely one-sided. Then we have split personality, acting differently around you and the next person, not feeling like they can be themselves around certain people. So I feel like when this person gets around their friends and shit like that, they really like act different. When they're around you, they act one way. That's why this person can kind of like put on the front as if they're a good person in front of your family, friends, or whoever the fuck. But behind closed doors, they're running around slapping your ass, abusing you, taking advantage of you, hurting your feelings, talking down on you. This person is really weird. Yeah, deranged, weird, strange, and twisted individual period then we have balling having a luxurious lifestyle wanting and having the most expensive things in life pockets full <laughs> off of your money this is your money that's the only reason why their pockets is full yeah now you got money problems it says someone could be in debt to their credit cards burning through cash irresponsible with money i feel like if you know if you had a home with this person aquarius or you live with this person for a while you would give them money to pay certain bills and they would go out and do other shit with it. Y'all could be backed up on bills, could be in debt, all type of shit. Getting ready to lose a house, cars, any everything. Like, this is the type of person that this is. This person could have addictions here, like drug, bad drug habits or something like that. Yeah, distorted masculine. Abuse of power, force and domination, fear of weakness, competition driven, inability to praise another. Okay, so this could be a distorted uh, woman or man, doesn't matter. Flip it, switch it says keep shining your light irritates their toxic demons okay period projecting pointing out the actions of someone else but really they are the things you do yeah this is somebody this is definitely hater mentality i feel like you know you and this new person here <clears throat> um this person could have talked shit about your person they really could have talked shit about your person and projected their own shit onto them you were too unaware, I guess, because witchcraft was involved. That this person was definitely like that. They're fucking. They're crazy. They're whatever they was telling you that your person was, <clears throat> was a lie, because it's them. And you could be just now be getting receipts on this shit. Truth unveiled. The truth has been or will be revealed in this situation soon. Secrets have been kept hidden that will come out. 
bottom of the deck hidden agendas pay attention to this person because they have other plans than the ones they've revealed yeah mental prison now they ass is in spiritual jail okay like someone who is trapped in their head may suffer from mental illness self-limiting beliefs <clears throat> child Aquarius y'all be going through some crazy shit man so um this was your reading <laughs> like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on to all so you guys can get all of my notifications for when I post and I will talk to you guys later bye